In this short podcast we are going to look at regression analysis and we are going to take a feature which you can find in Microsoft Excel and we're going to use that to carry out the regression analysis. So I'm going to start by opening Microsoft Excel, there we are, and now I have to find my file, I'm going to look for file and I'm going to open that and I have some data here which relate to shoe production, I have the months of the year, I have the number of pairs of shoes produced and I have the production cost and that's all I need to be able to carry out my regression analysis now if I were to start at home I would have the tools menu across the top here I would select data and then I would select on this side on the right hand side data analysis and I would look at the various forms of data analysis and I would take regression and I go to OK and you can see here I just want to remove some data right now I want to select the data that I'm going to use I'm going to start by selecting the Y range which is here so check that box now I can go and select my range there we are I'm putting the production cost on the vertical axis now I'm going to put on just click on the X range there I'm going to put the number of shoes produced on the horizontal axis that we are and I selected the labels as well so I've got to indicate that the labels are in that range so I've clicked on the little box there check the box for labels and I'm going to go to a new worksheet I want my data there and I'm going to call my data shoes and then finally I want to do a line plot so I'm going to put a line plot in there and I'm going to click on OK and here is my information for my data analysis you can see that I've got my line plot there and that of course at the moment doesn't show you too much information first of all it's too small so I want to make it bigger there we are and secondly having selected it you can see that it doesn't actually have a line on it and there isn't a grid so we can't reference this very easily so up here where we have chart tools I'm going to go to the design there we are and then I'm going to look at the different layouts and I can see one here in fact there are two there if I look from three or four which have got all grids on them I want the best grid possible so I'm going to go and select that one and there we are I now have a grid so that I've got my number of shoes produced now and the production costs and I've got the best straight line produced from those blue points which were the actual production costs and the brown lines and the brown lines produce the prediction for the production cost there are two features that we need to look at here the R square figure for the summary output the R square figure tells you how good or how good a fit you've got and an R value of 0 would mean a very poor fit and an R value of 1 would be a perfect fit what we've got is an R value of 0.990824 which obviously suggests we've got a very good fit and the second thing is if we were to extend this line back extrapolate it we would find that the point at which it met the y-axis would give us the fixed costs in other words the intercept and if I can go and look here we are I can see that in our regression analysis it tells me that it is discovered where the intercept would be and it would be at 28.16138 so in thousands it would mean that the intercept would be at $28,161.38 and that would be the estimate for our fixed costs. And that's all there is to regression analysis using an Excel spreadsheet.